morning all and welcome to a new garage of dad. And I've got an exciting day today. I'm up uh, quite early at this <laughs> ungodly hour. Well, early for me anyway. And it's amazing how many people are going about, you know. <laughs> um, I do like a trip out to get a car. And I've sold the van, the camper van, and a little A2. And I just need a car to tie me over until I get my new camper van project. And the car I'm going to get today I actually had the start of the year this year and I really liked it. But to get these sort of cars you've got to travel so I'm travelling there, uh, I'm jumping on the train, I'm going to travel down to York, then down to Grantham, then over to Skegness. But at least I'll get some good fish and chips when I'm there. Would you believe it, the only car that's driven over the old bridge, as I've been walking over, is exactly the same type of car that I'm going to get today. And here we are, it's a BMW 120D, I think it's the one with 175 brake horsepower, I think it's got the N47 engine, it's got 18 inch alloys, it's, it's got the odd scrape here and there but it's not too bad, it's in quite good nick, it's done 145,000 miles, there's quite a bit of history with it, a bit sort of foggy on the headlamp there, you know it's to be expected for a 13 year old car. Bumpers come off the clip there, but I can sort that out. I love the colour, and it's very similar to the last one I had, and that was a 118 diesel. And this is, uh, I think this is about 75 quid to tax. It's not the 30 quid one. It's debadged in the back. The guy, he's had a dog. So it's a bit dirty in there, but I can get that cleaned out. Tires all seem good. Nexon, mid range. And with it being the this year BMW, it's got a little extra start stop aircon, which works because it was ice cold on the way in. And he's got this carbon steering wheel. I think it's a one off. I think his friend, his mate, done it, rewrapped it. It's quite thick, it's not my cup of tea, but I quite like the look of it. Go a bit look in the engine bay. Oh, the cover's missing, but now this has had an oil leak. That's why it was a bit cheaper, and it's more than likely to be the the oil filter housing gasket, which is down in here, and um, which is quite an easy fix been pouring oil in here but the reason you know that is that it leaks down this side of the engine when it's cool put that flat back up but on the whole I'm pleased with it so I'll just take it for a wee run and see what it's like so I've driven it down the road and it drives really well, there's no, there's no time and chain noises, the engine's really smooth, the gearbox is smooth, the clutch is smooth, which is great. And I filled it full of diesel, so we'll just check the, the mileage on the, on the run home, although it'll be on the A1 all the way. And I've got a little surprise on the way home as well. So here we are, I've arrived, I've arrived at our destination, and it's the Battle of Britain Memorial Flight at RAF Coningsby. And it's not too far away from Skegness, so I thought I'd just pop round here and just see what it's all like. I was hoping to see, you know, either a Spitfire or a Hurricane or a Dakota or something outside the, the hangar, but there's nothing there today, you know, it's just by chance I was going to be passing this way on the way back to the A1. And another thing I've noticed uh, is that, I think I'm in Lincolnshire anyway, it's, a, it's actually a beautiful county, which 
quite took me aback. Um, the roads are fairly quiet round about here and there's lovely little villages. And the roads are great, you know, they're all back roads. To get to here it's just all back roads from Skegness, so there you go, Lincolnshire, I really like it. But uh, I'm really pleased with the car. Um, it drives really smooth now that I've gotten used to it. Uh, another thing is, uh, when you when you buy a new car and the guy's there, you know, and you jump into it to drive away, it's like you've never driven before. <laughs> you know, it's like going back to when you're a learner. So it takes a few miles to get used to it. Um, you know, after driving the van for quite a while, um, this is actually very luxurious for me, even though like, it's like a 12 year old car. But uh, to me, this is like a 30 grand car, you know, I don't, uh, I don't normally drive about in anything like this. And it was only like 1500 quid. That's the level of car that I drive, but I'm really pleased with it. It drives really smooth. Uh, the gearbox is smooth, the clutch is smooth. Um, it's all quiet, you know, the suspension, no knocks or rattles. Uh, the engine's not smoky, you know, I put the foot down a couple of times, which is great. And uh, the engine's quiet, which is the main thing. T to be honest, I'm not sure if it's the, uh, the troublesome N47 engine or the other diesel engine, I forget what number it is, which is the better one because the timing chains at the front of the engine and they're more, they're more reliable and I've had a BMW that's done like 250,000 uh, on one of those engines with the original chain still inside it. So I'm pleased that way. There's still a light on the dash which is uh, the brake warning light so that could be either the handbrake uh, or the brake shoe uh, warning light you know whether when the pad gets worn and the cable in it sometimes these cables break um, but uh, I can check that out it's pretty minor and also the service light staying on so I'll see if I can knock that off And the other thing is the start stop, it stops but it won't start again and there's like a buzzing warning noise so I think I've got to sort that but to be honest I don't really like start stops and um, they're just a bit of a pest. So once I've been here for a few minutes, had a bit of look about, see some of the jets which uh, I'm not into the, the modern jets, um, they're firing up, I don't know if anybody's about to fly away. Um, I'll watch, I'll stay here for a couple of minutes and watch them. But uh, I'm quite eager to get back to the A1, get settled in in the car, stop for some grub. Yeah, I forgot to get fish and chips in Skegness, but I just wanted to get away from the place to be honest. Um, I'll get some grub and then just get away, way back up the road, way back up the A1 and see how the car goes and I'll report back when I get back home. So there we have it, my BMW 118, well not 118, 120D and I came home quite late last night so I've had a little look around it this morning to see exactly what it all needs but uh, I had a really good uh, run home, it, it runs really well and I've had a look at all the service history today. There's quite a bit of paperwork came with the car, it's had a lot of parts fitted over the years and I've got all of, all of its MOT history and the work that has been done just after it's been MOT'd and it's got the full service history and you can see here there's an entry for its last service it also had a timing belt or a timing chain fitted which is excellent news and here's the receipt for all the parts for the timing chain and at the same time they replaced the clutch the whole clutch system as well and that's just good news especially with the N47 engine because that's a major part and a major worry of these engines that has been done and gives you peace of mind. So that's good news. So I'm going to start by sorting all the simple things and I'll show you what they are in a minute now that I've had a good look around it. The headlamps are a bit discoloured and this will just need uh, rubbing down and polished up a bit. There's one or two scuffs, a little dent, I'm not going to do much about that, but there's one or two scuffs that I can just polish back or respray with a rattle can. I've got my private reg to go in it. And there's one or two chips here, needs a new badge on the front. That looks like a cheap aftermarket one. Uh, there's a chip here which I'll have to fill and paint, but that's pretty easy. The wheels and the tyres are actually okay, and they're 18 inch wheels. There's a little dent on the wing. The steering wheel in here, it's... The guy told me, the guy really likes it, and he told me that uh, he actually got it made for this car because he... 
He loves the carbon. But it must be the thickest steering wheel in the world. It's not to my taste, but he really loves it. It's got a good fuel, but it's like they've uh, put the material over the old wheel. And it's it's like driving driving with a, a tire around the steering wheel. So I might be, I might change that, you know, just for a standard one. But everything else uh, inside is fine. Seats are really comfy. And I usually get a bad back with BMW seats, but uh, these seem uh, absolutely fine. It's got these sort of dark tinted rear lenses which I don't like, but this one's broken anyway, so I've got a couple of new ones coming, bog standard ones. Uh, both these light, this one just falls out and that one doesn't actually work. And there's just one or two little scuffs about it, which are, which are fine, I'll get them sorted out. But one of the major things that I don't like, it's got dark tinted windows on it, and the back one's blacked out almost altogether, and you can barely see through it even in the daylight. I'm not keen on that sort of thing. So this will probably be one of, the, one of the first jobs I'll do. And it comes off really easy. You just sort of get it to the corner and just rip it off like that. So that'll be the first thing I do, I think. In the engine bay, well, the first thing that you can see is that it doesn't have its cover. And that kind of does my OCD in. I know Scotty Kilmer hates them, but uh, I would prefer the cover on it. But I know that the guy's put a new gasket on here, he's put new injector gaskets on as well. But it's the oil filter housing gasket that's gone and when it gets cold it drops oil. So I'll sort that out and it's quite an easy fix to do. But at the same time, I might actually clean out the EGR and clean out the inlet manifold as well. Make sure it's all nice and clean. Take any carbon deposits out. Looking back on uh, what's all been spent on the car, it's had loads of servicing, but it's also had a, a new alternator at some point. But I might put a new belt on anyway. I'll do that, I think. But uh, it's had the, being the N47 engine and the timing chain issues, I was so glad to see that in the paperwork, it's had a new timing chain and a new clutch as well. And that's, uh, that'll explain why the engine runs so quiet and the clutch is so smooth. Well there you have it, my BMW 120D. It's the best I could get for 1500 quid. And I really like it to be honest. Um, there's one or two little jobs I've got to do to it which I'll put together in, in a single video. Uh, I'll not string it out, out over a series of, uh, series of videos. But I've got an idea for um, something in the future. And hopefully to build my way up to something I really want, you know. And uh, what I really fancy is one, well, a better quality car for a start, but uh, I really fancy a good quality day van. So I'm getting near a thousand subscribers, which is great. And thanks everybody for subscribing so far and watching my little channel. It's amazing what you can do with some old cars. <laughs> Somebody, uh, um, you know, who's a bit nervous on camera as well, which is uh, it's quite difficult sometimes. Um, but I really do want to thank you, and I want to have a little push for a thousand now. Um, and it's final step, you know, towards maybe, you know, doing a lot, lots of different kinds of videos. Um, as I say, I've got one or two ideas in the pipeline. So as usual, thumbs up, please subscribe. I've become that bloke who's asking for that now. And we'll see you soon for the next installment of Garage of Dad.